I have so much stuff next to me and so much stuff to show you guys. It's actually a bit of a joke. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a long awaited uni haul. I feel like now's a really good time to get this video out for you guys because I feel like everyone's now starting to do their uni shopping. You know, they've got their accommodation, they've got where they're going to uni and whatnot. So I've pretty much done all of it. I mean, there are still like a few knickknacks on like what I need to buy. But I don't know if anyone's even going to find this interesting. Sorry if you don't, but I'm literally going to show you every single thing I've bought so far. The only kind of things I haven't bought yet is more like decorative pieces. So like things to actually decorate my room with. But I feel like I will probably end up doing like a room tour and whatnot. So you guys will see it in that, which... It's going to be three weeks away. Like, I'm actually so sad to be leaving my room. By the way, if any of you don't already know, you're probably so confused. If you've never come across my channel before or if you've just missed when I've said it, I am going to university. I'm going to Manchester Uni. So I'm really, really, really excited. So this is basically what I've accumulated and bought from a lot of different places. So I'm literally just going to get started because... I'm not gonna lie, we have a lot to get through, people, and I feel like if we don't start soon, this video is gonna be really, really long. I'm already sorry, like, I'm actually already sweating. There is so much stuff next to me, but let's get through it. Where should I start? I feel like I'm gonna get the big things out of the way and the more kind of, like, obvious things about, like, what you need to take to uni. So, first thing... Ugh, so a lot of my shopping I actually have done from HomeSense only because I literally have worked there for like three years I've only recently just stopped working and I know that's not like the cheapest place to buy things I know there's like so many cheaper places you can go. I've actually not done an Ikea shop because I Don't know. I feel like everyone gets the same stuff from Ikea and then you think your things look different But really everyone goes to Ikea. So I've just decided I'm not going to Ikea. My mum was like Let's just not do Ikea. She did that for my sister and our Ikea is like about 40 minutes away anyway. So there's just no point. And also just quickly want to point out that the things I have are probably some things are a little bit more on the pricey side. But honestly, that's just because my mum would rather me have good quality stuff that isn't gonna that isn't just gonna like break on me i know what some of you're gonna say like you know at uni things break things get lost whatnot but if i come to that crossroad i will my mum pretty much chose everything out especially like the kitchen stuff but we'll get there so yeah a lot of my stuff is from home sense because i basically worked there for like three years so i had discount and i had like vouchers and stuff so uh, so the first thing that i have is these pillows so these are by a brand Silent night. This is so weird. Like me doing a home haul. Normally I'm showing like clothes, and now I'm like, here's some pillows. Pillows. They were twelve ninety nine, and there's like two in there. But I also want to get two more pillows just because on my bed, like I like to have a lot of pillows, and I also have like a three quarter double bed you know so i want to make sure i have enough pillows on there because i like quite a high pillow so yeah i basically got these they were 12.99 for two part of like the off to uni range but they're just pillows so yes i have these two pillows here Ugh. okay so the next thing which i feel like again is a pretty obvious thing this is actually from Danaum. So you can pretty much buy duvets everywhere these days but this one is just a, it's so heavy, look, you have no idea. This is from Danau. It's a Fogarty Down Touch Duvet. It's a 13.5 tog one, which I think the normal one is like 10.5. But I was feeling all the 10.5s and I thought they were a little bit thin. And it's a double one and it was at £50, which I feel like that's kind of like an average price for a duvet. But yeah, 13.5 tog. I'm literally just going to pull things out in no particular order. So sorry, but I just, I can't rummage through all the stuff right now. So anyway, next up I have a bath mat. This one's actually from Primark. My sister has this one as well for uni. It's just a memory foam one. So it's like really soft. And she said it dries really quickly and whatnot. So I literally just got a dark gray one. And yeah, this one was like six pounds as well. They had this in like white and stuff as well. But I just went with the gray one because I feel like the white one could look dirty quicker so yes i have this bath mat from primark primark actually do have some decent stuff by the way some of it's like a little bit shit but some things you can get really nice stuff and i do have like other stuff from primark to show anyway going along with the bathroom theme maybe i'll just get all the bathroom stuff out of the way i have this little toilet brush holder oh, i wasn't sure if they would have one in the bathroom i mean my accommodation is 
brand new like they've literally only just made it but i just thought i would get one just in case and i literally picked this one up from asda it was 75 pence so i mean even if they do have one there and i just brought this for no reason at least i didn't spend like a lot of money on it it was literally 75 pence i mean i mean this actually just feels cheap as well like that's how you know that i went out and bought this on my own because if my mum was with me she would tell me to get a better quality one but literally it's so thin and like flimsy but yeah like i said i don't know if they're gonna have one or not so i just thought i would get one just in case because i don't know what might go on in the toilet i might need one of these so yeah okay so next up oh, next up on the bathroom theme i also got this from primark which is just a pink laundry bag the theme i'm kind of going for i feel like it's the same theme that everyone goes for at uni it's like pink gray that's basically it. i'm just going for pink and gray kind of keeping it simple i'm honestly not too bothered i'm just kind of keeping it how my room is at home but yeah i literally got this from primark it was five pounds and it's just like a fold away one like i don't really care too much what my laundry bag looks like you know it's just gonna be full of dirty stuff anyway but yeah this one's cute it's just kind of like a velvet chenille don't know just a cute little one so yeah i picked this up also from Primark and then finally from Primark these are actually really really cute I was so surprised I saw these in Primark but I picked these up for my bathroom so this one is just you know for my toothbrush it kind of has like a marbly effect on it it's glass and then this is the little soap dispenser you know wash my hands after I've gone for a dump just these ones I thought were really really cute and they weren't too expensive either I think it was like three pounds and four pounds so kind of just like average price but these are really really cute and then along with the bathroom theme just got a quick dustpan and brush set i think this was literally like two pounds from asda i'm gonna need this when i spill some pasta i spill food all over the floor and there's just dirt everywhere i just need to do a quick tidy up then they also come in really handy and it's quite a small one as well so it's not going to take up like too much space okay also i picked up these hangers which are also from home sense home sense if you guys want some of like these non-slip velvet 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 hangers then go to home sense they literally always always have them in and they do like really really big packs for cheap as well like i got 25 in here for 7.99 i don't know how many hangers i'm gonna need yet because obviously i don't know like how much wardrobe space i'm gonna get so i feel like 25 is a good place to start if i need any more i can always get more do you know what i mean so i feel like 25 is a good number i have a lot of clothes to take with me so i probably will need more than that but for now that's just fine like i don't want to overdo it so anyway so now let's move on to kitchen stuff so basically from asda i only got three things i think for kitchen stuff first thing that i got are these wooden spoons so i just thought i needed some wooden spoons you know if i want to make a curry there's four in here and they were three pounds from asda so yes i just picked up those and then i also picked up these two glasses here i actually did get two glasses from home sense which i'll show you but you know when you just see something and it's like really cheap like these are 50 pence each and i was like oh my god let me just get them because a pound for two glasses like why not maybe these could be my like drinking glasses you know with my beverage in here my vodka lemonade i don't drink that anymore i mean my vodka cranberry juice have it in this so yeah i picked up these they were literally 50 pence from Asda, so can't go wrong now it's time for this massive home sense bag like this is a hefty 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 bag so the first thing that i got this is also from Asda. this is just a measuring jug to be honest i don't know what i might possibly use a measuring jug for but this was 50 pence so i basically just picked up some tupperware this came in a set of five but two i've given to my sister and then i've just kept three for myself just in case i want to make like lunch on the go or if i've made food and i want to just like put the rest of it in the fridge i can just chuck it into one of these and put it in the fridge or like store food in here whatnot like i feel like these are just a must when you go to uni so i just picked up some tupperware okay so i actually have this other kind of tupperware i mean it is tupperware but it's actually glass so this is from home sense it was four pounds reducing the clearance but my mum just said it's good to have one of these glass things because i think this is microwavable so like say i make a stir fry and i'm gonna put some of it away to eat the next day i can just put it in this and then i can heat up this bowl in the microwave and eat it so my mum just said it's good to have glass but then i thought i would want plastic as well just so 
I have both, so I went out and bought these plastics, but my mum picked this out for me. So now let's move on to frying pans, saucepans, whatnot. So this is my saucepan. It's actually really heavy. My mum actually bought this from Dunelm. I mean, these next few items, honestly, I didn't even have a choice. I didn't even pick them out. My mum just put them in the trolley and that was kind of it, but I don't really mind because I'm not too fussed about the stuff. My mum picked this up from Dunelm. It's literally just a saucepan with a lid. It's quite a big one, actually. Like, it's quite wide and big, but, you know, if I want to boil the pasta... I will be cooking it in this. Next up, I have this little saucepan here. Now, this is a green pan healthy ceramic nonstick saucepan. So, this was actually $14.99, which, gulp, that is a bit expensive for a saucepan, especially for, like, a student. But my mum's reasoning behind this is that it's ceramic and it's apparently healthier for you and better for you, so. Okay, so next up, I have a, like, mini wok. Now, this is probably the thing that I'm most excited for and like i'm like i'm so happy that i have this i absolutely love like stir fries and noodles all that kind of stuff basically all the foods which you can see in this i just love that kind of like food so this is just a wok this was 9.99 from home sense again so just a wok you know stir up my stir fries in this this is going to be used a lot. I can already see it. Okay, so these are the glasses that I originally picked up. Now, they're actually mojito glasses, which... I mean, I realised, but I was like, oh, well, I can just use them for normal glasses. But these were $2.99 for two, which I think is pretty decent. But they're basically just these plain glasses which are like they're very very wide you know it will inspire me to drink more water which is something i definitely need to do so yeah i literally just have those as well one thing i haven't got yet is a mug but I honestly i'm just gonna take one from home like one of my ones from home because i don't really drink tea or coffee that often like i probably have a cup of tea like once a week so i'm not gonna buy any one of them okay so next up i have a colander for my pasta my spaghetti you guys already know that this is going to be used a lot i love me some pasta i feel like every uni student loves some some, some pasta i can't even get my words out but yeah this is a it's quite a big colander i feel like this one's actually a 7.99 i was gonna get like a mini version of it but it was a bright green it was this color and i was like that is so ugly so then my mum was like why don't you just get the bigger one this is actually the colander we have at home as well i feel like this is just more student friendly like you know actually that's such a lie it's just a colander to be honest it's nothing special okay so next up i have a mini cheese grater for my cheese on my pasta the only time i will have grated cheese is probably on my cheese on my pasta but this is just a little mini one this is 3.99 which I'm not gonna lie, home sense. This is a little expensive for a tiny little grater. I would literally make this two pounds if I have the choice. Okay, now let's go on to dishes. Um, so okay, so for my main big plates, these are the plates that I went for from Home Sense as well. These are just like white grey marble plates. I think they're so cute. But what I really like about these ones is that they actually have like quite a steep dip in them. So like say i'm carrying my food around and i have like i don't know beans on here they won't just like spill on the side or whatever so yeah these i really like these these were 4.99 each so i know what some of you are thinking like 10 pounds for two plates is a joke but i just i just really like them and then of course i've got a pasta bowl they actually didn't have if you no home sense you know everything's just like random like you don't really find sets that often so i literally just picked up a gray pasta bowl which has loads of like dots on the side like it goes with like the gray on here so these will just go nicely together and yeah this was 3.99 as well and then for like a normal cereal bowl not that i actually eat cereal but i feel like you just need a bowl this size as well this was two 99 it's just a plain white one because i couldn't find anything cute and then basically i realized that i didn't actually get a small plate so i found this one from asda which is again that same kind of marble i mean it's a little bit different but at the same time like it kind of goes with it so this was from asda i think it was like a pound or something so yeah those are my dishes that i have and then oh, i also picked up these two white boxes from home sense as well they were 2.99 each and i just thought i would get these 
because I don't know maybe I want to put it in my bathroom for like storage or I'm sure I will find something to put in here I mean I have a lot of stuff so i'm sure we will get to you somehow okay so for knives i have some pink knives so these are by the brand taylor's eyewitness so i literally just have a big knife and a small knife my mum said that's pretty much all i will need so yes yeah, so this one was 3.99 and the big one was 4.99 so just got some knives to be honest and they're pink so <laughs> happy with that only other two utensils i have honestly i feel like i'm not gonna need more than this i literally just have a simple black spoon plastic spoon this was 2.99 and then i've also got this spatula turner slash cutter like it has a lot of uses this does it has like a, this is like a this is like a garlic grater at the top like it just has a lot of uses so this was 2.99 as well so yeah so i also picked up this chopping board here this was 4.99 it's like a marble one you can't really tell but it has like marble all over it so cut my vegetables cut my chicken on this i'm not really too fussed about having two different chopping boards one for chicken one for like vegetables i can just literally rinse it and then use it for vegetables do you know what i mean i'm not too fussed so i just got a shopping board and i feel like this is a really good size as well i watched a lot of people's hauls where they brought two like a really big one and then a really small one but i feel like you only really need one with you so that's the one that i've got and again matches with my dishes so cute i feel like everything low-key matches oh except from these these brightly colored lids but that's fine so also the next two things i have this is a i realized that i didn't get a like baking tray but i didn't want to get like one of those big thin ones because i wasn't sure how big like the oven's gonna be if it's gonna fit you know like when multiple people are cooking like that could be quite annoying so i decided to just pick up this mini one actually my mum picked this up for me from home sense when she went back this one was 9.99 which again a bit on the expensive side personally but like i said my mum would rather get good quality stuff for me than like shit stuff that's just kind of how we've always been we'd rather get good quality stuff rather than get shit stuff and i know i've picked up some shit stuff like my 75p toilet brush but whatever and then i literally just have two tea towels here wasn't sure how many i was gonna need and these came in a set of four for like 4.99 but i gave two to my sister and then I kept two for myself. Again, going with the whole grey theme. Bedding. I also have a mattress protector. This is just a double mattress protector. Again, part of the uni range. And this was $9.99. I have no idea how the mattress is going to be yet. I feel like this is just kind of a good thing to get me started. And if I get that and the mattresses are really uncomfortable. And I can buy something a bit better. But this to start off, I feel like it's good. It's just an anti-allergy one. If you don't buy a mattress protector, I honestly feel like that's the most important thing to buy. Luckily, my accommodation is brand new. So I'm guessing my mattresses haven't been stepped on by anyone before. But... If you know that your mattresses have been slept on by a lot of people, then this is the first thing that you want to buy. Like, seriously, the first thing, like a thick, thick one. But this should do me fine. Oh, back to the bathroom. This is a bit of a shambles. These were just at the bottom of the bag. But I literally just picked up this, like, non slip bath mat. Again, I'm not sure I actually really needed this now because my accommodation is brand new. So again, no one's obviously been in the shower yet and that's one of the builders maybe have, you never know. But I just thought I would get this as well just in case. Actually, I'm nearly all the way through. So basically, I just picked up a little shower puff. You need this was a pound from Primark and it has a little suction so it can just hang on the shower door. So I just picked up one of those. And then here's like my kitchen supplies if you will so i picked this up from as i feel like this is a little bit extra i feel like the normal average person would just pick up some sponges but my sister told me i should get this because you basically put like fairy liquid in there i have no idea if this is even going to work by the way i feel like it's a bit of a scam but then it just fairy liquid goes all the way down and then you just wash your dishes so you don't have to like touch do you know what i mean and then you can like suction it on the side but yeah i just literally picked up this from asda i think it was like a pound so i'm probably gonna get through a lot of sponges and stuff so this is just the first one and then to go with that of course i just picked up some washing up liquid i feel like things like this like cleaning supplies i haven't properly bought yet but I feel like those are things that people forget a lot of the time like antibacterial wipes like 
spray and whatnot, which is still stuff that I need to get. It's actually lemon scented. I was gonna go for the original, but I was like, you know what, at uni, I will treat myself and go for lemon. Um, these things I actually picked up from like our shop. So I just literally have some kitchen foil, some cling film. I feel like people would forget to buy that as well. Um, some food bags with twist ties and then some freezer bags. But like if you're cooking for yourself, like you're not gonna use up like the full portions of things. So these are just essentials. And then literally from Primark, I picked up these microfiber cloths. So you can like dry dishes with these, clean with these. They're just like really, really good to have if you wanna do a bit of cleaning, dusting, whatever, you know. I also picked up a small bin as well because I thought they probably will, or they might have a bin like in my bathroom or in my bedroom that comes with the accommodation but I doubt there's gonna be two bins. So I just got one just in case. So like wherever there isn't a bin, I could just put that there. So yes, this is my bin. It was two pounds from Asda. Also from Primark, I actually picked up this cute frame. Now I'm probably not gonna keep this picture in it because I feel like this picture kind of clashes with the frame. I'm probably gonna get like a black and white picture in here. But this was literally just a frame from Primark. It's really cute actually. This was three pounds fifty because I'm I actually need to get some pictures printed as well which I can put in my room as well of like friends family but this was just a cute frame so yeah of like a random thing which I feel like people would forget to buy is I got myself a hair dryer now this is just a fabulous one I got it from Asda it was like 10 pounds or something I have no idea if this is even going to be good on my hair because I have a lot of hair and it's thick so I need to actually test this out and see if it works because if it doesn't then I'll just take my sister's and she can have this one. We only have one in the whole house for the family to use so I don't have my own hair dryer but now I do. I've got to clean that all up afterwards. Okay so some things for my room so I've got a few bedding things. <gasps> I forgot to show you I also picked up slippers again from Primark. Now my sister said that it's really really important to get slippers or no, that's not very well. Slippers or like sliders, whatnot. Because I don't really want to be walking into the kitchen like barefoot when there's probably like moldy food on the floor and stuff. So I feel like slippers are actually a really, really good thing to buy for uni. So I will probably be living in these. So yeah, these were from Primark. So for my room, I decided to pick up this little desk lamp here which is just in this dark grey colour. This is also from HomeSense. It was $19.99. As you can see right there, I wonder who put this sticker on. I wonder. So yeah, this is just like a classic. I feel like my accommodation probably won't come with a lamp. I know that some do, but I haven't seen any description of my accommodation coming with a lamp. So I just thought I would get my own. This is just a really cute one. It's a cute desk lamp, so when I can do all my work, I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, it's just great as well, by the way. Okay, so lastly before bedding, I've had kind of a nightmare about bedding. But I've decided that I'm going to take this white one with me. It's going to be hard to show, but it basically has... You can see, like, the design of it. It's kind of, like, roughly like that. So this one was from HomeSense. It's actually in the clearance. My mum actually bought this for me. It's 100% cotton, and it was £24, and it's just a double size. And then I also have a fitted sheet, which is also from HomeSense, which was... $12.99 and then I'm still undecided if I'm gonna take one of my more like pinky beddings like flora beddings from home or I got this one which I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for home yet not sure haven't made up my mind but this is from Dunelm we bought this today and it just looks like that it's really cute this is kind of like what my room looks like here just kind of like floral bedding like that so I actually oh my gosh I'm so silly the last thing little thing so I actually obviously in uni you're not allowed candles and what not but I go to Primark and I get myself a diffuser my sister actually said these are really good they're literally one pound and they're this one smells so good i just wanted something which was like not too overpowering because i feel like it will it will annoy me so this is just soft cashmere and like vanilla and it's just a really small one and it was literally one pound yeah i literally think that is everything uni i feel like i pretty much have everything it's just like now getting small bits and more like decorative items and whatnot but don't worry guys i will be definitely be doing a room tour let me know if you guys would like me to like vlog me moving into uni as well i'm still not 100 sure on it but i feel like it would be really fun to do and to like look back on but 
feel like it's kind of awkward like but like people are gonna hear me talking to myself and being like so yeah i've just reached the accommodation i'm just about to have dinner but let me know if you guys would like to see like a move-in vlog and whatnot so yeah i literally move in like two weeks i'm actually going on holiday next week to magaluf and then the week after that i think it's like two weeks after that i'll be moving in so i'm very very excited anyway thank you so much for watching this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and i will see you guys in my next youtube video bye guys also when you're watching this it's actually my birthday tomorrow so just letting you know okay bye